Today we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are actually going to be hunting in Yukon Valley. I have not hunted in Yukon Valley in a very long time, so I am actually pretty excited. Today we're going to be hunting with the Ambusher DLC. I am mainly going to be hunting with the Marathi. And of course, we are going to be taking the E-Caller along with us, and we're going to be having some fun with that. But what I'm mainly going to be looking for is a trophy caribou. Now, I know that's not an easy thing to do. I really would like to get this four first, though. He's coming in. Let's get him. Let's see here. I have the 22 only. I don't have a shotgun on me. How you doing, my buddy? Oh, I have a terrible wind. And here he is. And Splat, he is down. And we have an escapee. Where do you think you're going? I uh, don't think I'm... Oh, I got her! I got her. We're doing all right. Just thought I would shoot a few geese. Geese were actually added to this map as a backfield species about a year ago. And I think they're pretty cool to hunt here in Yukon. And I'm hoping that EW will add even more species to all of the existing maps because more animals means more fun for us to hunt. And if you do agree with me, definitely let me know in the comments. And I am also going to encourage you guys to stick around right to the end of the video. I am going to share a keyword, drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel and definitely check out these lakes. They are awesome for all kinds of different species here in Yukon. Now caribou drink from four until eight. So we are gonna be ravaging this map. I'm gonna check it high and low and see if there is something sweet on this map for us to find but yes i do have decoys set up here so this is an amazing spot to set up for canadian geese you will get a pile of them and now you need to find me too can you do that for me i know you can oh there's one okay and he is a gold boo 8.59 is what we are looking for for diamond and that was just about an 80 meter shot but it was a good shot we will take it and there is one more goose for you to find, my buddy. And they're already coming back. Just trying to see if any of them are rare. Not the easiest to see. So it's nice that when you do shoot a goose, you can definitely follow the blood trail. So that is a brown hybrid, which is not rare, unfortunately, but still very pretty. All right, let's find something crazy. Okay, so I just fast traveled over here and I have a tent here because we can no longer jump off the railroad tracks and use a health pack to land. So you do need a tent at the bottom and this area is pretty great for lots of different species, but definitely really great for caribou. Now there's a big herd right over here. I don't think there's anything too crazy in here, but what I am using for a loadout today is the 300. I have the 308. I thought we'd have some fun with the Marathi. And then I do have the 243 pistol, the 22, and I do have the Quist electronic collar. So I thought we'd have some fun with the Ambusher DLC today. Now these guys are pretty far. Ooh, very far. Let's see if we can take a 300 meter shot with the Marathi. Now to do that, all we're going to do is use the dot below the crosshairs with the Hyperion scope and that should be perfectly zeroed to 300 meters. I'll take this guy right here. Okay so I'm gonna zero to 150 and we're gonna use this dot and cross our fingers. I hit him. I, I don't think I got him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but we have no hunting pressure. Well, I'm not sure what went wrong there, but that is what you're supposed to do for a 300 meter shot. And it looked like we were perfectly zeroed. You know what? Let's try it again on this guy. Definitely that was a good shot. I saw him drop in health. So we did get the second shot there. I don't know what happened on the first. Oh, well. Okay, so this must be our second shot because we have vital blood splatter here. Are you working today, my buddy? How'd you like to... No? Have to do it again? Oh, lucky you. Shake a paw. Okay. Oh, I only get one heart for that. Could I have one more, please? How about... I think you're gonna need to sit for this. Okay. I need you to be my best friend. Can you do that? Oh, who's a good puppy? Oh, yes. Oh, I get two hearts. One more. Okay. Now we're gonna play. That's right. Step back. Why don't you? How about play? And shake a paw and now I have my new best friend sweet now he's gonna <laughs> I didn't mean to do that let's try to get him to track I better step back he's just gonna be overloaded with love and affection all right now it's time to work my buddy he's on it I know that definitely when I whistle at him and show him approval he does track better he definitely does he's a little faster I'm not gonna lie my dog usually runs around at one heart and he does just fine if I could shake a paw while running then I would do it a lot more often <laughs> Okay, let's look at this shot. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so first and foremost, he was a little closer than I thought. That's gonna push the shot up, but not much. Maybe I need to be zero to a hundred and do that. I'm not sure. Hey, dog! Shut up. Gotta tell my dog to shush before I pick up my harvest. Okay, we learned something there. We will aim a little bit lower next time. Let's see if we can find something sweet. Look at that, guys. That is a stunning caribou. I love that rack. We definitely need to get him. So I think today we're gonna shoot the biggest and the wackiest racks. Ooh, I have a terrible wind. We're not gonna get too much closer than 200 meters. Beauty! We got him. Pretty sure he went splat. I didn't see it, but he dropped right away. Now, the tough thing about this river system is that it gets to be too wide so that you can't even spot across the river. I wish you could see across the river. That would make life a lot easier. Right now you can, but it's not gonna last. Okay, here is our beauty. Oh yeah, that rack is stunning. Oh, absolutely beautiful. He is a 300, not a huge one, but I do love this rack and it's even funky. Look at the differences. That is definitely not a symmetrical rack, but I think it's beautiful. I love this side. Sometimes when you get racks like this, when they do have the big double shovels, they can score a lot higher than 300. He's not even a gold, but we did get a really nice double lung shot. And I actually aimed up here. That was quite a lot of drop, so that is interesting. I'm definitely gonna have to aim higher next time once again. Look at this beautiful caribou coming in. He has a really nice rack. We're definitely gonna have to shoot him. Is he not gonna join you? This guy's gonna come right up to me. Well, I was gonna shoot that other one, but he just vanished. Jeez, if I had a bow, I'd take care of you right now. That I do not have. Oh, oh really? All right, fine. If you insist, that's what you get. That's what you get when you yell at me so much for that other one. That's okay. Okay, that's what you call a big boy, but not really. <laughs> oh, $1,200 isn't too bad. Not bad at all. Kind of was expecting less. All right, we have a funky dude here. Is he behind a tree? He is behind a tree. All right, let's see if we can sneak one in there. I think we got him. Man, there are a lot of places for caribou to hide on this map. I haven't even run into a troll yet. <laughs> Caribou are definitely one of the worst trolls in the game. Those and reindeer. Man, man, he ran far. There goes, there goes. Oh, he's nothing much. Okay, that's a funky rack. Definitely funky, very funky. Okay, where are the level fives? Bring them out, we're ready. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're gonna run all the way around. These two, right there. Uh, my waypoint is not working. Oh, another zone. Oh, that one's pretty. He's pretty. There he is. Okay, I think I should probably reload. Okay. Yeah, that's another rack that can make diamond. I mean, the I think at least the left side when they do have gigantic double shovels, which is not very often. We got him. And he is not going very far. He is down. Okay, let's have a look at this beauty. Oh yeah, very nice rack. Yes, I like that one a lot. He is a gold 318, not too bad. 430 is a long, long way off, but we did get a double lung there. And the Maradi once again has insane penetration, but that is a really nice caribou. We're getting there. They're getting a little bit bigger, little by little. Let's see if we can find one that breaks 400, that's gonna be tough. Look at all the caribou, holy moly. We have a zone right in front of us right here. And then there is another pretty big zone in the back. Now I'd like to get in there and spot every single one of them. Get most of them spotted. Not even a troll yet, but this is where we are. This lake right here. And you can see two zones coming in here. So this is a really good spot for caribou. This guy's funky. Where are you going my buddy? I have never used it on caribou before. And I'm sure they will start moving immediately. Yep, we definitely got their attention. Yeah, that's definitely a funky rack. I like my right side. I'm gonna take him down. Add splat. Oh, I better grab the collar. Now, if you just pick it up, you don't even have to turn it off. Saves you a step. There we go. And these guys are still calm. That's kind of sweet. Now, getting over there is gonna be a 
gigantic pain in the neck. Okay, we had to run all the way around, but we made it here, and here is our spindly dude, and he is very spindly, but a very funky rock, and he actually made gold. 349 is not a bad caribou. We got two vital shots. One was necessary, two was not, but I just wanted to make sure, just in case we didn't make it on that first shot, and he was only 112 meters away. He did not go far. $1,243 for a caribou? Jeez, they're not bad for cash at all. So definitely check this area out. This entire lake, all of those zones are caribou. Every single one of them. Pretty crazy, right? If you want another hot spot for caribou, look at all the caribou in this one spot right here. So we have this herd right here. Nothing good in any of them, but lots of caribou. And then we have a solo there. And then over here, another gigantic herd of them. And then another zone right here. So we are in the recovering Tecon forest and I have a tent right there. So that's a great spot for a tent and on this lake, I have a tent right there. So I do recommend tenting both of those lakes. They're both absolutely fantastic for caribou and for lots of other species as well. Grizzly bear and red fox. That is a really nice caribou. Lots of big fours in here. All right, we're gonna take this beauty down. He is really pretty. Okay. We got them. Beautiful. Now it's always a good idea to spot after you've shot something because things can come out of the woodwork and you might spot something that you didn't know was there. That has definitely happened to me before. So I have six drink zones for caribou on this lake right now. That's a lot. <laughs> that is sweet. Okay. Oh, you're very pretty and his rack is thick as well. That is a really funky rack, holy, and very, very pretty. But they always score more when they're symmetrical. So 328 and 311 is gold. So not a bad caribou. All right, we're gonna have to find another spot because we have not found a single level five yet. Come on. All right, where are we gonna go? Let's check out here. And this is a good spot for a tent, Brightwater Flats. Let's check there. We have 20 minutes left. Okay, I think that is the most beautiful caribou that we have found so far today. What a stunner. All right, we're gonna take him with the seven mil this time. How on God's green earth was that not a good shot? I, I, I am. I am dumbfounded. Guys, what the heck went wrong there? I don't get it. Something very weird going on because that was a beautiful shot. Well, swing and a miss. Right now we are on this Y lake here and all of those are caribou and we are spooking a little herd out and that's a pretty one. That was very strange. <laughs> Not that I don't miss shots, I definitely do. I just didn't think that I missed that shot. Well, that is a pretty one. I wonder if I can get him. Get him! That time, we definitely got him. Oh, you are very pretty. Yes. And he is a gold, 341. I love these tines that split off the back. Those are my absolute favorite. And I don't even think there's a rack like this that makes diamond. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. But if you guys do know, let me know in the comments below. And we got two double lung shots there. And that was with the Maratti. So a 341. It's hard to get close to 400, isn't it? Move, tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have been looking for a while now and I haven't found anything good. I'm gonna keep looking. Okay, so now we are gonna go down and we're gonna run the river way because I'm pretty sure it is loaded with caribou. Let's start right down here. Okay, this is kind of insane, but I just ran from here all the way down and I found one solo caribou and I didn't even get the zone for it. There are no caribou down here in this corner of the river. That's kind of shocking to me. All right, we will go back and we will go right this time. It's gotta be some. Okay, so I'm right at the outpost and I just picked up this zone. So we do have some caribou going this way. Nothing very exciting, that is for sure. Man, that is one sad looking herd, but at least there is caribou. So we will continue this way and see if we can find there's some more, but find something with something good in it. That would be definitely the goal. So far, it's been a tough crowd. Oh, that one is beautiful. That is beautiful. I love that rack. He goes up to 450, 371 on the bottom. This is definitely gonna be our biggest one so far today. Very sweet. Okay. How you doing my pretty buddy? Oh, splat. 
maybe we got heart. And just so you know, when you come out of the outpost, you don't have to go all the way around this little inlet. You can just run right through it, which is awesome. Okay. Oh yes. What a stunning rack. Oh, love this rack. 375, he scored right at the bottom, but that is a really nice caribou. And that is definitely the closest we have gotten to a 400 scoring caribou. Never mind a 430. Almost feels like a pipe dream right now. Finding a diamond caribou is not an easy thing to do. And we did get a heart shot there. So that was a beauty shot. 171 meters with the Maradi. And this is where we are on the map. Now look at all the caribou here, guys. I think I just picked up three zones, a solo there. And then look at all of of these caribou. Holy. So I would say that running down this way is a hot spot, but this way, not so much. We are finding just a pile of them. So I'm hoping that one of these zones is gonna have a gem in it. Man, I have found so many caribou and nothing. Makes me wonder if there's anything good on this map. Okay guys, so I just traveled to this outpost. We're gonna run all the way down here cause down here I found insane amounts of caribou drink zones. But is that white? Is that a piebald? Because I love that rack. I think that might be a piebald. I think we might've found something actually good. I am so excited. I'm pretty sure that looked white to me. Now this stinking hill. You know what? I'm gonna get within range. I'm gonna put the e-collar out and I'm gonna call him over this little very annoying hill. So first thing I'm gonna do is park my dog and the e-collar down. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna lay prone. My wind is fine. Let's see what comes over the hill. It's good for 200 meters, so it should hear it and it should start coming, dude. Where are you? <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. Now he's deaf. We're gonna have to get closer with it. I hear ducks. All right, he doesn't seem to be coming. All right, we'll get closer. I'm gonna walk. I should be fine to walk up to about a little bit further. And he should give me a warning call if he figures out that I'm here. Okay, let's try that. There we go. Okay, it is on. Where the heck are you? It's seven o'clock, we got an hour left of drink time. <laughs> He's just not coming. Oh my gosh. Dude, are you deaf? Don't you hear the mating call? All right, we'll get closer again. Okay, 150 meters. This has got to work or something's weird. Something weird is happening. All right, I'm gonna have to tippy toe in there. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, he is piebald. He's definitely piebald. Look at him. He is beautiful. I absolutely love that rack. Okay, he is 92 meters. <sighs> Beautiful, he is down. Let me grab that collar. It definitely did the trick. It just took a little longer than I thought it should, but can't say I'm the most patient person in the world. I'm not, but that was worth the wait. Oh, you are a beauty. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I know it's not a super rare, but I love this rack. It's gonna be one of my favorite rares. Oh yes, 369.56 piebald. What a stunner. I'm gonna taxi that immediately. What? <laughs> he is absolutely stunning. We took two double lung shots. Look at that. And look at the top. It's very weird how his tines up here are kind of flattened out. He is so cool. Well, that is a very sweet find. That was so worth the wait. We looked really hard for you, my dude. Really hard. And this is where we found him on the map. That is so great. So there he is, guys. There he is, 369.5 piebald, and he is absolutely stunning. I put him in here with my great one moose and my great one black bear. But the keyword for today's video is piebald. And if you did enjoy the video, guys, hit that like button, and thank you guys so much for watching.